Hi, my name is Tiak Duat from Daily Beats and uh, to, in today's video we are going to talk about how to make your drums sound better with parallel processing. I've been working on this track today for for um, to upload it to my YouTube. I'm making a beat and um, I, I added this technique with parallel processing to make the drums sound better and sound bigger and uh, I'm going to show you how I made it. Uh, before that I would like to ask you to subscribe to this channel and activate the notification so that you know when you, you when you <laughs> so that you know when we upload new videos and also uh, leave a like and a comment in the video uh, if you have any questions or any suggestions to future videos. So uh, with that uh, out of the way let's go. I have here a, a bit that I'm working on and uh, I will I will um, <clears throat> play it for you. Okay, so this is the beat. So let's go to the mixer and let's see what we have here. So I have a kick, I have a snare, then I have some live drums and I have cymbals. And what I did was to, I usually have this mix channel where I put all my, all my channels and then I can add some, uh, I can check for the levels, check and also add some, some some compression and also send everything to a parallel bus here, the auxiliar river. And um, if you listen, if I take out the mix to the master, we can listen that we have here some uh, parallel processing with, a, with a, an EQ and with a um, reverb and an EQ. So that's not the point of today uh, video. Uh, what I'm going to do is to take off the delay, the reverb, so that we only focus on the drums. And uh, here, as you can see, I have the kick. Both the kick, snare drums, and cymbals are going to these two channels. Why? Uh, first of all, I group them in a channel called Drums G, which stands for group. And uh, in this case, I don't do any kind of processing. I only have them here so that I can check the levels, you know. And uh, the other way, I the, the way I usually did parallel processing in drums uh, before was uh, grabbing all the channels, routing them to one single track or one single channel and then route this channel to another channel and this is not the, the best way to to um, to do parallel processing and you will see why in a minute but before that uh, let's go ahead and um, see what I did in the the other two in the in these two channels uh, I selected all the channels that compose the drums and I send them to this track which is the <coughs> the drum group and then I send them to another track which is called the parallel drums parallel and in this case is parallel processing. So let's listen. I can take off or disable mute the channel 6 and enable channel 7 and we can see that the sounds are very small, not small sorry, uh, much more um, in terms of volume much more uh, small uh, I'm trying to find the um, quieter or quiet but uh, let's see what I have here I have a drive knob and in this case is 64% and uh, as you can see if I take it off it makes a, a huge a huge huge difference then I have some uh, some compression I use this one the renaissance compressor and uh, I go here, load and choose these preset drums and uh, what I did was to just <coughs> adjust here the threshold and uh, the gain uh, here it's clipping a little bit I think so maybe I turn it off I will turn it down a little bit something like this okay it's better 
but uh, as you can see I'm, I'm applying a lot of compression minus 8 minus 10 and then I have a uh, imager and this is a free plugin from ozone that you can um, uh, download and this is quite nice if I take off the the, the plugins you'll see a big difference and when I add this to my master not my master but but my dry drum group you will see the difference right away we have more punch in the kick the hi-hats or the cymbals are more uh, are more prom, prom, mm, I'm finding I'm finding it's hard today for me to find the correct words are more loud uh, are more noticeable again now with the parallel processing on it has a little bit of crunch also because of the distortion so let's listen with a with a beat it makes quite a difference now it's parallel processing off I will turn it on now off again and it goes from uh, uh, ok sounding drums to a really nice and full drum mix we can also enable again the, the parallel reverb oh, yeah. let me take off again the, the drum the parallel drum the parallel processing group channel it's very subtle but it gives more more um, dynamics to the to the drums it gives more punch more crunchiness and uh, yeah I think it's it's really nice and you can use this too to increase or make your your drums sound better okay so I was talking about the way I used to do parallel processing and uh, I'm going to grab a new channel here I will disable the one that I had and um, what I'm going to do is copy all the the I will copy the same plugins go into this triangle file save mixer track state as and I will drag it in uh, on top of insert 7 and this will copy all the settings all the configurations from this channel to this channel and what I'm going to do is to I will delete I will delete I will put the the fader all the way down and what I'm going to do that's this is the the way you should not do parallel processing inside of FL Studio and uh, what I usually uh, or in the past what I what I did to do some parallel processing was to select all the channels send them to the group uh, drum group and then route the drum group to a different uh, track and in this way we have the drum group with the dry signal and now we could have had or we have the the parallel processing here uh, with this channel and this you will see this will create phase issues which are very nasty I can even copy the same values and you will see the difference you see even if I turn it on now if I turn this this one on which has all these channels going into this channel 8 all the drums going into this channel 8 even if I do this it creates some uh, some um, some uh, some phasing issues why because you are routing this one here to this one if I turn it off it now it works really nice so I will turn it on again here and immediately we have phase issues it's very noticeable for quite a time I was wondering why this happened 
and now I think I have a, 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 an idea, is because of uh, plugin latency. And uh, it's a very um, hard issue here in uh, FL Studio because I usually, uh, when I work worked with um, Pro Tools, I usually did this. Uh, so I, I I routed all my tracks to um, <clears throat> to a drum uh, uh, a bus group, let's say. So it would be the the drum group, and then I routed this drum group to a parallel uh, a channel or track, and I applied the the um, the compression or the the effects that I wanted to apply to the drums. And uh, I, I didn't have any problems, but with FL Studio it's a bit different, and uh, you have to understand how to do it. But uh, what I, what I'm doing here when I do this, when I route a new channel, what FL to FL Studio does in my in my understanding is that it calculates the latency of uh, the channels and adjusts the sound. So when you are uh, doing this you are uh, changing the calculations that uh, FL Studio does to compensate for the plugin latency and uh, in this case it creates this nasty phasing issue so the solution to do to this so let me take this off let me grab an empty channel file save mixer track state as and I will put it right here on top now it's okay so, um, what I was saying, I was saying that uh, it creates a phase issue and the way to do parallel processing is the way I explained. You have to select all the tracks that you want and route them to different, to, to different uh, tr uh, group. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Today is not very easy to speak English. So you have to select all the inserts or all the channels that compose the the drums and send them to two different uh, insert channels and um, this way you will have a dry signal which is in this case drum G uh, insert 7 and then you will have the parallel processing with the effects and this is channel 7 I called it parallel uh, drums parallel in this way you will have a clean parallel processing even though you have uh, three plugins here and you don't have none here in the in the drum group uh, what FL Studio, FL Studio does as you can see here for instance this one here this um, uh, clock which has some um, some uh, some yellow color and this one doesn't have so this has instruments uh, sorry this has plugins and this one here doesn't have plugins but what F FL Studio does is to compensate all he understands that we have we are routing this tr these uh, channels to channel 6 and to channel 7 and it calculates us okay so FL Studio does the following goes to this channel calculates the latency of these two these three plugins and then adjusts to this one here you know or vice versa I'm not sure which kind of uh, w what way it does but uh, that's the way when you see this uh, yellow or this clock with a yellow color <coughs> sorry it means that it has some uh, delay compensation and uh, as you can see the other ones here also have uh, so that's it that's how it works so I hope was clear for you and um, uh, so let's listen again with and without the parallel uh, processing now is with I will turn it off now now I will turn it on again As you can see, more presence, more. Uh, it sounds better. I don't know what kind of uh, adjectives you want to put it here to explain what 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 is happening, but it sounds better.
And you can do this to all of your tracks. Uh, it never hurts to make your drums sound better. And um, even if you don't like, you can just turn it off. Or don't apply this uh, effect. Uh, I hope you understand how to do the parallel processing in FL Studio because it took me a while to understand how to do this. And um, yeah, that's it. Uh, I hope this video was helpful. And uh, again, if you have any questions or any suggestions, just leave them in the comments below and I will answer and uh, possibly make a video uh, based on your suggestion. And um, yeah, that's it. Um, if you are new to this channel, subscribe and activate the notification so that you know when we upload new videos. And also uh, leave a like and share this video uh, with your friends. And visit our website www.dailybeats.pt We have there a lot of free stuff and uh, you can go check it out and download. And um, that's it. My name is Tiago Duarte and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.